How's it going guys, it's Mr. Lone Wolf, and uh, today I'm going to go and do the mission, or contract rather, called Abandoned Giant. And the reason I ended up choosing this one in the end, I actually spent most of the night um, exploring the map called, uh, uh, what's it called, Aviro Hills or something, uh, which is where this Fem 37 thing is. And yeah, this mission, Abandoned Giant, so I've basically got to go from the garage in the reactive zone that I explored yesterday, down to this Aviro Hills gateway and although I haven't done the exploration video yet here's just a quick scan over the map long story short it's a pain in the art if you're gonna do it go clockwise with the uh, watchtowers not anti-clockwise but yeah from the gateway as you can see the fem truck thing is only here so it's a tiny little drive even if you haven't explored the map you're practically next to it as soon as you come through the gateway so you don't you don't even need to explore the map really um, and then yeah once I get back uh, through the gateway I've got to kind of take it along the bottom uh, of reactive zone map and then there's like a warehouse in the uh, the bottom left hand corner that it wants me to deliver it at at which point I then it'll then give me the truck uh, I went and gone I uh, bought a few others just throwing it out there as well which is a bit random with the truck but um, you can only buy it in Russia and this map isn't a Russian map so when you unlock it you go back to the garage and yeah it says obviously you, uh, you're not in the right region or whatever to buy it uh, so I travelled to Drownlands and bought five of them just because then I'm sure I'll use a few of them. Um, it saves on to keep loading uh, back and forth, which I got a bit nervous of doing more when uh, Phase 9 I think it was, it kept crashing. For some reason, loading to Phase 8, one of the farm maps, I think it was Harvest Corp, no, no, I don't know, one of the Phase 8 farming maps anyway, uh, it just kept crashing the game, like that was a sometimes you could load to a map and it'd stop the crashing but I don't know other times it would crash it uh, yeah so I got a bit nervous of doing that um yeah so just while I'm uh, driving along the way and randomly looking around <laughs> not looking around I'm going I need to smash into a lamppost that would be me dead in real life um yeah so I explored the Aviro Hills map um I've got all the footage for it and everything I've not edited it and then yeah I basically the way it all uh, started tonight, I wanted originally to do the map, uh, sorry, <laughs> if I can talk properly it'd help, to do the contract called a Jumbo Bridge, which is that drawbridge which will then connect like the main lot of the land on, what's the bloody first map called, I'm trying to remember all these names, Pipeline Bay. Um, yeah, that will connect me to like the little island that you can then go through the gateway to Flatlands. Um, when you do the Jumbo Bridge, you have to come to Reactive Zone, which is the map on now, so say the second map, and then, uh, yeah, get four lots of fuel from the gas station and then take it back to uh, Pipeline Bay. But then there's also a fuel generator you need, um, and that's down in the bottom right hand corner of the map. And just with the way when you come back through the gateway, it kind of doesn't. Uh, basically, when I looked just quickly, I was like looking around, that Fem truck can have. That's a shit name, by the way, for a truck. Um, it can have a sideboard thing on the back that can hold four lots of cargo, and I'm assuming, I haven't actually tested it because there's no bloody trailer store at the garage, um, but I'm pretty certain it can have a trailer on it as well. So it's pretty handy because what I would like to do is go and get the four lots of fuel, which will obviously fill up four slots of cargo, uh, and also tow the trailer, which I could work it like I could just stick a winch to it because I was thinking of taking the twin steer, and that'll obviously have four lots of cargo without needing a trailer, but unfortunately they kind of cock block the twins there and it can't have a trainer anyway so in theory this kind of sub it was a perfect substitute really because it turned out that it does have four cargo slots and then yeah I was kind of thinking well I really would like to now do that jumbo bridge mission or contract um, with this new truck so yeah that's one reason obviously I wanted to get this mission done there's also I'm still on an hour in about uh, which order to do it in because you've got to fix the other bridge, I can't remember, it's called like Bridging the Gap or something, um, you fix a bridge to a little island that's got an upgrade on it, and then after you do that there's two contracts, one called Eastbound Ferry and one called Westbound Ferry or something, and if you do both of them I'm assuming you unlock the uh, ferry crossing, which should be very handy for the Jumbo Bridge contract, because after you get the four fuel, if I then come back through the gateway, drive down the map, get the generator, it's a hell of a lot shorter distance, like to go slightly back up the map, use the ferry to go across, and then I'm already near the uh, Jumbo Bridge. 
Whereas, uh, yeah, if I do that mission before doing all those other ones I just mentioned, then I'll kind of have to go the long way around. So I'll, uh, I'll have a think on that one. And, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, I've just made it in out of Ira Hill. So as you can see, yeah, it's just a tiny little trip. So even if you haven't explored this map, it doesn't really matter. This mission is still uh, easily doable, which is nice. I mean, they've obviously locked it behind this mission. You've got to recover the truck in order to unlock it, but it's not... I don't like the... Uh, phases where they do like the truck that you unlock is buried sort of six or seven contracts deep or something it's like I kind of I want that truck to do the contracts that's kind of the fun of getting a new truck on uh, some new maps but yeah at least with this one it's certainly uh, pretty easy to just go nip and get it it's a bit of a formality you've got to tow it along and then uh, yeah you unlock it and you get the truck as well which um, I believe it's about 200 grand or something for the truck it's a bit of an expensive one so, for what it's worth, if you are like pretty new to the game, even if you didn't want to use this truck immediately, you could go and rescue it and uh, sell it for 200 grand. That's going to get you. You get do. do. do dolphins. Two dolphins for that price. Uh, what, probably nearly five loaves. I mean, that's a bargain. I couldn't really say there's anything. any better deal than five loaves. Uh, yeah, for what it's worth, it's random, but when you go to change vehicle, it does actually highlight the truck, and if you click on it, it brings a little message up just saying. Fem 37AT something like that. that sounds like some kind of I don't know, Tinder profile looking for Fem 37AT not ainly trained always thinking always thinking about making you sandwiches <laughs> I don't I actually do you know what it's random but I don't eat many sandwiches anymore so I don't even need a girlfriend I don't eat enough sandwiches to justify it um, yeah, it is a bit of a shit name for the truck. I'm not going to call it the FEMM. I'm going to have to think of some kind of name for it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, you get to here, get the truck. There's, In theory, you could lead it the other way out, but the road, there's kind of like a bridge that's missing a few sections. By the way, that got pretty close there. It's a good job we had a, a weight distribution loaf present, otherwise I could have tipped over. See, now it makes sense why the loaf isn't perfectly centred. He was leaning over to the left a bit in anticipation of that uh, banking angle. But yeah, we made it around there. It's a little bit of a slow crawl out here. At the minute, I uh, forgot to even attempt to turn the engine on with this truck. Um, yeah, it's the truck's not broken or anything, but it is out of fuel. And yeah, as usual, I've got a goddamn professional with me. And he comes in handy once again. That's what she said. Um, yeah, so I transfer a bit of fuel. For whatever reason, it's randomly got cargo in it. Try actually think it's a nice little detail just for the hell of it. Uh, in and of itself, I don't believe, unless there's some kind of mission or contract later on, but it'd be a bit iffy if they did it this way. Uh, yeah, I don't believe you actually need the cargo. No, my luck, I'll end up getting it to like towing it to where I am. And then it'll tell me at some point in a future mission you need to bring this cargo. Or, you know, maybe you can... Uh, duplicate the cargo at some other warehouse but yeah no my luck it'll be like the two pieces of cargo you need I suppose for that bridge but yeah in theory in this mission in and of itself the cargo in the uh, the truck isn't actually part of the mission or anything it just happens to be loaded with cargo um, which yeah I suppose is like a nice little nice little uh, detail and yeah for this one I brought Steve out for Exploring the Aviro Hills map, I ended up taking the uh, Zik 605R again, because I already had it set up with two loafs on it uh, at the reactive zone garage. Uh, and yeah, I honestly thought, oh, this will be a bit of a simple one. But like I said, because I went anti-clockwise, I just effectively went like some dead ends I ended up turning around. I crossed a river that, just knowing what I know now, if I went clockwise around the map, I would have ended up kind of getting to the bridge at the bottom, which basically the map's cut in half by kind of like a big river, and the only sensible proper way to cross it is a bridge right at the bottom. But because when I came out the gateway I tried to go anti-clockwise, I effectively tried, and I may say succeeded, thanks to the goddamn horse, uh, crossing the river in a in a free stylish kind of manner. Um, but yeah, looking back, you know, it was like going clockwise would have been better. And yeah, that brings me to my next point, is um, I'm happy to kind of edit the footage and get the Avira Hills map exploration video done. Um, obviously, I was going to do that tonight, but it was a combination of 
yeah, I do want this vehicle unlocked sooner rather than later, plus I've already done two exploration videos and I don't really want them all bunched up, but it's one of them where, like, every time they release a new phase, it's kind of spoilt for choice. I want to make ten different videos in one night and then, uh, yeah, it sort of very quickly dies off, like, it doesn't matter as much. Um, yeah, back through the gateway, I'm back on reactive zone now, and it's pretty simple, like, following the road all the way along the bottom, yeah, to this big warehouse uh, in the bottom corner. And then that's it, once you drive there, there's like a yellow box, you just drive into it, it clicks, says mission done. Uh, not that it matters, but it pays you three and a half grand for the mission, which is low, but obviously it gives you a free truck, so you actually end up getting more like two hundred and three and a half grand. Um, yeah, I was, sorry, I was the same with the Avira Hills expiration. I can either... Like, I'm fine doing the editing, but what I'm sort of umming and ahhing is, I don't think the... The route I went with my exploration video, um, I wouldn't say was optimal, <laughs> let's put it that way. So it's going to end up being potentially a longer video, which doesn't in and of itself bother me, but it's just more that unless I cut loads of footage out, like say if I go up a dead end, I could cut the whole lot out where I've just turned around. Or I could leave it in, yeah, I don't know. Essentially what I'm sort of thinking is, the end result of the video that I've edited won't be very good in terms of advice for exploring the map if that makes sense. Like if you were to watch the video and copy the route I went, um, it's not to say it'd be a disaster, it's just I reckon, yeah, in hindsight I could go a bit quicker, which I could say that with any exploration video because obviously I'm just going blind and kind of winging it as I'm going along the way, but I'd say that map in particular is, uh, yeah, kind of a definitely a bit of an awkward route and all the rest of it. So, I could either do the original video, or in theory, tomorrow, I could... Which, I d then I don't really like the idea of this, because it's a little bit... Um, I don't know. Like, I could go around again, but in a more normal way. But then, yeah, it's kind of just imitating the video, so yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, by the way, just, sorry, got there. Just realised, oh shit, I haven't saved the footage. It's a good job I did, because when this video started, uh, I actually had to nick a bit of footage from like 30 seconds into the video. Uh, yeah, I must have lost like the first 20 seconds of this footage, which is normally like, I just would have been, have like the camera on this truck in the garage. Um, but yeah, that shot out, that was pretty damn close to losing our, the footage. And yeah, overall with the maps, I think um, the first map, Pipeline Bay, is quite a nice balance, I think. Uh, the reactive zone. To be fair, I was looking over a couple of the maps earlier. I said, I think on the first night, which in some maps is the case, I was sort of saying with the highway vehicle you can't really travel around all the maps. I'd still say that's more so the case than Phase 11. Phase 11 actually catered to... There was potential to use highway vehicles in a handful of missions, like which is rare compared to normally there might be one or two if you're lucky and you kind of wing it and put up with the... Uh, the mud patches you're going to have to make it through and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, there is actually some roads running around this map, or maps phase in general, where yeah, it's doable with the right route. You could take a bit of a uh, kind of a more tame highway vehicle. I'd like to try the W990 at some point. Someone was saying in the comments that uh, it'd be a good truck to try. I believe they've done some into it. Is it like made diffs always on or something? But yeah, as it's a newer truck, and to be honest, I still need to make a gameplay and review on that. I'll obviously get one done on this truck pretty damn soon, now I've got this one in the bag. I know the other vehicle in this game is like a little 4x4 scout thing. Uh, I found the mission for it. Um, yeah, so it shouldn't be that difficult. I'll get that unlocked at some point. I'm not in as much of a rush for that, so that might take me like... Probably next week some point, because... Um oh yeah, is it... What day is it? Tomorrow the live stream. Oh, yeah, fuck no. I thought it was Friday for some reason. Um, so yeah, live stream tomorrow and then I'll do... Yeah, it's going to either be that Avaria Hills exploration. Or Jumbo Bridge. I still need to figure out what order I'm going to do. Like, in theory, I was even thinking tonight. This was how wishful thinking as usual. Especially when it comes... I don't mean this against this game. It's actually a good thing how it just zaps hours. But kind of even when I get on it, even with the exploration videos, I sort of think, well, it's going to take me right... Realistically, if I just drive, it's going to take me, you know, eight minutes from this watchtower to this watchtower, and then four minutes to this one. 
And you sort of calculate it in your head thinking, if I just get on with it, surely it'll only take me half an hour. And then inevitably there's like a river and I've got to try and cross it with a loaf and all the rest of it. And then yeah, next thing you know, like five hours later, um, yeah, I was even thinking, oh, I could possibly do Jumbo Bridge and then maybe even that Bridge in the Gap contract and get both videos done. And then yeah, that kind of went, uh, went tits up pretty quickly after I went the wrong way about 20 times on the uh, Lyra Hills map. But yeah, this is the warehouse. It'll take two. Make that corner pretty nicely. It'll do. So stop there, but I don't have to stop. I don't have to do it, because it's written the other way. Oh, there you go. There's a stop on the other side. See? Proof. British driving makes more sense. If I'd gone the American way, I'd have actually stopped. Uh, yeah, this is the yellow square that you need to drive into. New truck discovered. Was it, yeah, Fem 37 AT or something? Uh, three and a half grand, but obviously you get the truck as well. It doesn't actually specifically say there rewards like the truck. It just kind of, I suppose, counted it as like, yeah, truck discovered. Uh, I don't know why I'm just sitting on this for a while. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, three and a half thousand, yeah, I'll switch the truck. I didn't want to drive it in the end because I'm just going to leave this one here for now, but let's just quick look at it. It's like your welcome factory. I've, been in, I've not even driven an inch in the truck. I've already blown their sign up. Um, but yeah, as you can see, well, I mean, there's a good example with the cargo, speaking of uh, the four-slot bed thing. Uh, yeah, it can fit four. There's a quick look inside. Uh, Left-hand drive. Looks pretty new. It's got some kind of bed on the go. And then I was like, hang on. Was there like some kind of spare bed going on up there? It's like, for the hookers you buy while you're driving 3,000 miles across the country. Pretty good thinking, whoever built it. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave this one here, because one I just kind of do anyway with like vehicles that you get in the game, but secondly, I wasn't sure like what the deal is with the cargo. If I just re uh, recovered that truck now, obviously the cargo would just kind of float in the air and fall in the uh, the factory next time I switch to one of the vehicles. Uh, yeah, I can't, it's weird. Like With the articulation, I remember people telling me it was articulated, then I completely forgot it was articulated, then when I started towing it with Steve earlier, I remembered... Well, I was surprised that it was articulated, but then I remembered that people had already told me it was articulated. So yeah, I kind of I went through went through a lot of emotions with that one. Um, yeah, as far as being articulated, uh, just this game is a little bit weak with the articulation. It's funny though when you got it on that view, with the, particularly with the four slot thing, you can kind of imagine it as a cab over truck, with like a really short wheelbase. It's just obviously missing the rear axle. And then it's like a trailer. It kind of works like in that sense, but yeah, it's uh, personally I'd prefer a rigid chassis and it steer. But we'll see. I'll uh, I need to give it a proper test run. I didn't want to get too much footage now because I'll do an expiration video on it and all the rest of it. I just wanted to get it in the bag and get this video out there. Uh, oh, the old loaf appeared on the roof. <laughs> I forgot to move the crane back. Hoist by my own petard. Anyway, that's about it for today. Though I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Get yourself a loaf because he's a goddamn beast and one of these. And I'll be back soon.